there is a deeper intimacy that gets created by the dance. I like to talk about the dance and marriage that we can get to when as women, we learn to be happy in ourselves and build a relationship with ourselves and bring who we are into the marriage and relationship. And when a good man learns to undo the brainwashing that's happened from his wife through the emasculation, that he is the problem, that he is somehow bad and wrong and he rebuilds his confidence and strength to stand up to his wife and we can come together and be who we are and be in the roles that were created for us as women and men in the marriage to have a dance and to have a grace in that dance there is an intimacy that is expressed that is so much deeper so much more meaningful and sustainable in the relationship and in the marriage that creates the love, that creates the intimacy that is very natural, that just naturally exists by having that dance, that it doesn't have to be created. The problem with passion, it's not real and it's not sustainable. It, it has to be created. And we have to create the environment that allows the passion to be there. And then the end result of that is unrealistic expectations, hurt, pressure, neediness, resentment, and unsustainable. So the result of the dance that is better than passion is affection. Affection is the foundation of the expression of love and appreciation for your spouse. It's a way of saying thank you for being who you are and for what you do and a way of showing that genuine appreciation, love and care for your spouse. Affection is a, a daily ongoing way to show that you care about your spouse which means it's sustainable and it's very natural when you have the dance. And it is so much more fulfilling and so much more real than passion could ever be. We mistake that passion is how you show your love and care. But as we're learning today, again, it's not, it's not sustainable. And it's not coming from a real and genuine place. Affection is what is sustainable and loving and creates that intimacy and is an ongoing daily expression that naturally gets expressed in the marriage through having that dance. And the dance is the ultimate expression of, um, of, of the emotional affection that we want and can sustain in a relationship. It's really, 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 really important to know that as women, we destroy the environment for affection to naturally be there in the relationship and we destroy any possibility of affection because we are terrified that affection will lead to sex. Women kill and destroy affection in a relationship. That, that natural expression of how we care and love each other and show that care and love in a daily ongoing basis. As women, we destroy that environment, we destroy that possibility because we are terrified that it will lead to sex. So for the good men listening whose wives won't let you touch them, won't give a hug or a kiss or be playful, it is because we are terrified that affection will lead to sex. That was my experience. It's what I hear time and time again talking with and working with women. It's what I hear time and time, and time again talking and working with good men. 
we won't give an express affection to a good man and, and how they need that in a relationship because of our fear and how shut down we are to sex. And we can't receive what our husband will do for us to show affection because we think they want something and that something being sex. Well, you're only doing that because you want to get lucky. And that's how walled off we are and shut down to ourselves and shut down in the relationship. And then through that, push our husbands away, make them feel bad and wrong. That then they stop doing the things to show affection. It's why it's so important for us as women to see ourselves as the problem in a marriage to a good man. Not to, again, like I always say, not to beat ourselves up, not to make ourselves wrong and bad, but to actually create the very things that we want in the relationship, to actually create a loving and caring relationship because the nature of a good man is that he wants to show his love and care. It's who he naturally is when our walls are down and we're happy in ourselves and we can be open and open hearted to our husbands because we're open hearted to ourselves. A good man naturally shows his care and love and appreciation. We are the ones as women that kill it and destroy it and take away any possibility for that affection and deep expression of intimacy in the dance in the relationship. Hello again. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. For those women listening who know you are the problem and want a path forward to change your inner turmoil and unhappiness, I have a course for women called the Happiness Program, which is the solution to the unhealthy relationship you have with yourself and the issues and challenges you have in your marriage and your life. You can find a link below in the description to apply for a free course consultation with me. For the good men listening who want a solution to take back the power you've unknowingly given away to your wife, I have a course for you too called the Marriage Rescue Course for Good Men Only that teaches you how to rebuild your strength and confidence so that you can navigate the relationship with your wife in a healthy, constructive way. Again, you can find the link below in the description to apply for a free course consultation with me. Thank you again so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you soon.